the electric car sales numbers for the US are in for December and therefore 2018 and December sales look really, really good if you're making cars that have a Tesla logo on it. Everybody else though kind of seem like everyone kind of seem like they're out of energy, uh, uh, pun intended, I guess, except for one. There's one car that I did not expect that they're actually going to be second um, most sold uh, electric car uh, in the US in December after Tesla's. I'll tell you all about it and why I think the other cars are not selling coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. And if this is your first time here, where have you been? Where have you been? But that's okay. That's okay. Now you're here. You can click on the subscribe button so that way you won't miss anything moving forward. Okay, let's talk about sales. And by the way, these sales numbers are done by uh, InsideEVs.com. You guys, uh, you guys don't understand how difficult this is because companies don't and brands don't report their monthly um, numbers. You have to dig really deep and estimate and everything. They do a great job. Here are the numbers. Um, let me uh, bring it full screen. Now, they are organized by the total for the year. But if you look, the top three are obviously Model 3, Model S, and Model X. And after that, do you notice which one it is? We'll talk about it in a second. But let, let's talk about, obviously, the success of uh, the, the, the Model 3. Now, Tesla is undisputed king at this point of electric cars. It's kind of sad to see that others are not really bothering to catch up. But Model 3 almost, no, actually over 25,000 Model 3 sold in December. Obviously, that number will continue climbing as the production is ramping up, as the sales are ramping up now in Europe and in China starting in February. They'll probably fall here in the United States in January and February, but listen, the production will go on and those will sell. So uh, huge congratulations for an amazing year, still leading the pack, but really... I'm expecting, you know, Kona and, and Nero and, and uh, e-tron kind of starting to give them a run for their money. Unfortunately, the players that are in the game right now are not. Um, and you know, so, but let me tell you who looks like, you know, basically done really well in December, the most sold uh, electric car. And by the way, we're, we're counting plug-in hybrids, um, including Prius Prime for some reason um, in, in this numbers. Uh, before that, let me just quickly remind you guys that this show and this channel is sponsored by x -Rack. This is essentially a, a, a solution for those cars like the Model X that can have or don't want to have the uh, a cargo on the roof. Uh, essentially, this is a roof rack for your vehicle hitch. They're offering a discount or a community, one of the largest they ever have. You can see it in the description of this video. And that code also will get you free shipping. You can go to xrec.us and check them out. All right. What is the most second most sold uh, uh, electric car in the U.S. in December besides Tesla's? Well, it's this car. Honda Clarity. You know, when I was shopping for my plug-in hybrid, I didn't really consider them. Even though they have a pretty decent range, about 47 miles uh, electric range. After that, of course, you can have uh, your uh, ICE uh, engine kick in. Um, preferably not. But I didn't consider them But I because I just... Well, I'm not a crazy about the look, but I also just... Um, didn't want to give my money to a company that just doesn't seem like they're behind this whole electric car movement. But guess what? They sold, let me look at the, let me show you the numbers again, but they sold uh, more cars than any other brand besides Tesla. Uh, I'm looking at it, let's see, I got to find it because it's organized by uh, how many everybody sold per year. 2,787, as you can see, it's more than any, uh, any of them. Uh, more than a Prius Prime that's usually sold in the second plane, more than a Volt or a Bolt or a Leaf. So, you know, kudos to them. I mean, hopefully that will encourage them to make more of this little buggers, right? Uh, and maybe actually go all electric at some point. So reluctantly, congratulations, Honda. You know, good job. Good job. Now, I'm surprised that that's the car that people were going for as far as a plug-in hybrid because, you know, Chevy announced that they're not going to be making a Volt anymore. So if anything, um, I would assume that they would be getting to the Volt. Now, the Volt and the Bolt didn't do very well. Uh, again, let me, now this is a Bolt. Uh, let me show you the numbers for the uh, Bolt. And this is um, 
1400 a little over 14 and bold barely sold a thousand now on one hand it's a big surprise because obviously i mean i think it's the best plug-in hybrid out there the sales have been strong they are now going to discontinue it so i assume a lot of people would jump on it but I have a friend who was shopping for a Volt and really wanted to get it in December, obviously for the tax uh, uh, incentive here in the United States, and we couldn't get him one. And I was working with a dealership where I got mine and we couldn't get him one because they basically ran out of Volts and the 2019s are not in. I don't really understand this. I mean, seriously, Chevy, either just get on with this, build enough of them, or just stop, you know, just stop bothering with this, um, you know, you know, uh, how do you not make a car that people vault, want and we are in a ZEV state? I don't really get. So, and you know, how did you don't have 2019 cars, you know, at, at the end of your year when everybody else kind of has them by November? I don't really understand. So we couldn't get it. We couldn't get that car for him. So no 2018s were left, obviously. No 2019s were delivered yet. So that's probably why Volt and maybe even Bolt sales are low. Now let's move to another brand. And uh, this is a Nissan Leaf. This is this this sells very well in Japan and Europe. Um, and at one of the most, if not, I think it was the most sold car in, in Norway uh, in, October, in November when I was reporting it. But once again, you know, Nissan Leaf, you know, not even 1,700, pretty flag, a total of about 15,000 sold for the year. I don't get it, Nissan. Now, I, as you guys know, if uh, you were to ask me when you should buy your Nissan Leaf, if you are to do that, I would say obviously in 2019 uh, when they have uh, the LG cam batteries uh, and the longer range battery, if you really want to arrange over 200 miles, uh, they are going to be unveiling that uh, at CES. Uh, it looks like they will disappoint us with once again not having the active thermal management system, but we'll see. I will be at CES reporting for you guys, so I will definitely bring that report to you as well. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. I don't know why they're not selling them here in the United States and definitely like here in Zev states like California and so forth. It's a mystery, but overall I'm just sad for the kind of entire car movement because I really thought that besides, you know, they, they, they will... <clears throat> the other manufacturers will make a push, you know, watching Tesla uh, uh, succeed, and that's just not the case. Hopefully, the new batch of uh, cars that are coming on the market, like Nero and, and Kona and Neutron, will actually take this seriously and sell uh, in good numbers. Now, let me give a, um, a mention to Jaguar I-Pace, actually. They sold, I think, 200 something something between two or 300 uh, in December. They're still ramping up. I will be making another video uh, about iPace because they outsold all Tesla sales in Netherlands. So I'm wondering if it's coming to the United States, but they're definitely upping their sales here. Just a few hundred now, but we'll see. Definitely very interesting to watch that. All right. Um, by the way, just want to give a quick shout out to a new Patreon, Jay Brooks. Thank you so much for becoming a Patreon. For supporting an independent full-time YouTuber like myself, it definitely helps. If you and uh, and you get your perks, one of many perks um, here for the top tier uh, Patreons is of course watching me live. Um, and um, you know, if you want to contribute and, and become a Patreon, just go to patreoncom slash for electric I also have that link in the description of this video. Let me know if you're shopping for an electric car next year. Let me know which one you are considering. I'd be interested to know. Kind of will tell us ahead what the sales might be in the future. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged.